right, I'm hoping that you can see this well enough with the bright sun landing on that paper. Um, like I said, I'm just going to do that bench, but I can do what I've always done before and figure out the angle. You might think, oh, the bench is sitting straight. That needs to be straight, but it isn't. It's a little bit of an angle. See how we go up this on here. The bench top is not actually a rectangle. It's got a couple of 90 degree sides here at the front, but the back is not a rectangle. You have to look at it up close. But from where we're sitting, it would make more sense if it was. So I'm not going to pay too much attention to that back. I'm just going to assume it's kind of a rectangle. All right, we've got. One rock here. Let's see. The good thing about doing things like rocks, um, trees, things like that, is that their shape is unique to them. Somebody doesn't look at your rock and say, that can't be a rock. They're not shaped that way. Um, your rock may look more like a potato, but I got plenty of potatoes in my day. But it can be a lot of different shapes. Pay attention to if something is closer to you on the ground than farther away from you, then it will be farther down on your paper. Notice that I'm just getting a few things here, this rock in front. I'm going to make a little bit smaller to be more pleasing with the, the composition. And I'm going to start right in with my shadows. Pay attention to the shape those shadows are making. And if they are hard or soft edges. This edge right here is very hard. It's actually a cast shadow from the bench. So I want to make that hard. Now this shadow right here is the rock curving down and going towards the ground. So it's softer edged and it will get darker as it goes down towards the ground. You can see those two shadows. This is what's scumbling. We talked about this before. Now as I'm drawing, the shadows will keep changing. So there. Sometimes I go, oh, I like that shadow even better, and I switch my shadows, but most of the time it's better to just keep what was originally important to you and not worry about changing them. You just have to make sure that you get that, so snap a photo to begin with. So I can snap a photo now, so I don't, I did that just before I started, so I don't lose what's going on. This, I want you to just pick something simple. Um, like I said, I could do a lot more complicated things, but I just want to keep it simple. This bench, if I do this, I can see those little shadows on this side, not a whole lot. And on this side, I'm going to keep those. I'm actually going to do them in a different direction than I did the rock. I'll come back and do the rocks a little bit differently because it's a little bit darker under there. It's always darkest right underneath, right? Now there's a shadow that's coming along up here and it is on this bench right here. There's also some little shadows of leaves and branches. Well, less leaves this time of year. And behind here, I've got more. I don't want to 
want to do the same texture that I did the rock with because these are little branches in here. Okay, before I can do any more of that, I've got to get some of these little guys in front. I have a little leaf, a little weed curling up like that, so it's casting a shadow on that rock, which I think is quite interesting. Now, if I see one plant, I'll probably see more, but I don't want everything to be the same height, same size. The shadow's coming down here, and it actually is coming right here in the grass. That's right. <clears throat> now, the grass all up here, and I'm not going to make it exactly the way I see it. It's a little bit too much, too busy. I'm going to kind of make grass in general. Just kind of in a few places to kind of indicate what's happening. Now I can see this light side of the rock better if I show those plants and green things behind it. So we'll put that in there. Um, okay, this rock is casting a shadow. If the rock is in shadow, there's shadow underneath. Excuse me, Gilbert. I just fed you, mister. And so I'm actually doing, just like we did in our other assignment, negative drawing where I'm, I've got grasses here in front and I've got to draw what is not the grass. What's behind the grass. It's a little bit darker here because I've got some shadows going on. You can see that begins to make the shadow. And I've got to do it on this side. Hello, you're a funny cat, you're a barn cat, you're pretty darn friendly. Now the shadows when they land on grass are not going to be flat, they're going to hit the leaves of the grass, so it kind of changes a little bit of the shadow, it's not going to be on flat ground like it would be in the classroom. So, let's see some is in front of that. But we'll also see this bench is casting a shadow, so I can't just do the shadow of the rock. I'm doing the shadow of the bench and the rock. So we'll come back and get that here. Okay. I have um, my bench. My shadow on the bench. Oh, shoot. Sorry, hopefully you can still see me. And I just need a little bit behind here to kind of show what's going on with the bench. If I don't put some of these little trees, it just won't work. You know, I think I just want to do kind of a little bush and plant. Oh, kitten, just lay down here. do that then it kind of shows the top of the bench. Sorry, cat is rubbing against the tripod there. Otherwise I wouldn't have anything to show what's going on with the top of the bench. If I did that right in the middle and nothing on each side it would look kind of weird. So I'm going to make a little break here and do some more benches. And now this definitely looks like barren leaves, you know, there's no leaves on this here. Get a little height there. Anything I do here, I've got to continue down there. Let me 
if you've got a child bugging you or an animal. Don't worry about it. This is not like a precious drawing. This is a fun sketch to see if you can get some values. I've got lights, I've got mediums, and I've got darks. And these darks, I feel like need to be even darker than they are. Let's see if I can make that pop. Much better, isn't it? Don't you think? Now, if you can train yourself to do sketches, if you decide you want to paint, then you'll be well served by being able to do a sketch and get your values in. Because we see in values, we see because we have light. There, now that dark helps quite a bit. Another little rock here I've got to describe with light and shadow or I can't see it. Okay, all done.